Hello everyone. Welcome back to Technology and Livelihood Education 6 class, Industrial Arts. In this video, we are going to talk about the seventh module in Industrial Arts, which is the Construct Simple Electrical Gadgets. This is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, also known as USLEM. For the expectations, at the end of the module, you should be able to one, identify the materials and tools needed in making simple electrical gadgets. Two, identify and create simple electrical gadgets and their uses. Three, observe and practice the safety and health practices in making gadgets. For your pretest, direction. Read the sentences carefully. Write T if the statement is correct and F if the statement is wrong. Write your answer on the, on the blank provided before each number. If your answer is false, underline the incorrect word. This time, I would like you to please get your TLE6 notebook and write your answers there. If you still need more time to answer this slide, just pause this video. And once you are done, you may continue. Number one, electrical gadgets are known to simplify the life of man in many ways. Two, a tester is a tool in making simple electrical gadgets used to measure the loudness and softness of sounds. Three, a screwdriver is a tool with a big pair of sharp blades. Four, an extension cord is used to extend a cord in order to power a device that cannot be reached an outlet. 5. A lampshade is an example of a simple electrical gadget used to cover a lamp to soften or diffuse the light it emits. 6. The doorbell is used to test the incandescent bulb, a device that tests if it is functioning. 7. Wet hands will not cause electric shock when doing electrical repairs. Eight, disconnect the power source before servicing or repairing electrical equipment. Nine, do not repair anything if you don't have any knowledge or the knowledge and skill in doing it. 10, use only tools and equipment with non-conducting handles. Are you done? Let us now check your work. Here is the pretest key to correction. Number one, electrical gadgets are known to simplify the life of man in many ways. True, or letter T. Two, a tester is a tool in making simple electrical gadgets used to measure the loudness and softness of sounds. The answer is F. So the word that makes the statement wrong is tester. It's not a tester. Three, a screwdriver is a tool with a big pair of sharp blades. The answer is F and the word that makes it false is screwdriver. So number four, an extension cord is used to extend a cord in order to power a device that cannot be reached an outlet. The answer is T. 5. A lampshade is an example of simple electrical gadget used to cover a lamp to soften or diffuse the light it emits. The answer is letter T. 6. The doorbell is used to test the incandescent bulb, a device that tests if it is functioning. The answer is F. And the word that makes it false is the doorbell. Seven, wet hands will not cause electric shock when doing electrical repairs. The answer is F. And the word that makes it false is wet. Nine, disconnect the power source bef eight, rather. Disconnect the power source before servicing or repairing electrical equipment. The answer is T. Nine. 
Do not prepare anything if you don't have the knowledge and skill in doing it. The answer is T. Then, use only tools and equipment with non-conducting handles. The answer is F. And the word that makes it false is non-conducting. We have an exciting lesson in this module. But before you start, let us find out what you have learned in the previous lesson. Looking back, direction, compute the markup price and profit of the following items. Use the formula given below. 10 points. So the formula is cost of item multiplied by the markup. So percentage is equals to the markup price. And profits is equals to sales less or minus the expenses. Please refer to the table below and you may answer it now. Again, if you still need more time to answer this slide, just pause this video. And once you are done, just click the continue or the resume button. For those who are done, let us now check your work. Here is the key to correction. So the cost of item for number of items 20 and the cost of items is 100 pesos. The markup is 20. So the markup price will be 120 pesos. The next one. 15, number of items is 15. The cost of item is 250. The markup is 20%. And the markup price is 300 pesos. Number of items 10, the cost of item is 350. The markup price is 20 pesos. And the, the markup percentage rather is 20%. And the markup price will be 420 pesos. Number of items, 25. Cost of item, 125 pesos. The markup is also 20%. The markup price for that is 150 pesos. Number of items, 10. The cost of item is 425 pesos. The markup is 20%. And the markup price will be 510 pesos. Now for the sales, we have here 200, I mean 2,400 pesos. The expenses is 2,000 pesos. The profit gain is 400 pesos. The sales, 4,500. The expenses is 3,750. The profit will be 750. For the sales, we have here 4,200 pesos and less the expenses of 3,500, we have 700 pesos. The fourth one is we have 3,750 pesos and an expense of 3,125 pesos. The profit is 625 pesos. And the last, we have here 5,100 pesos for the sales and an expense of 4,250 pesos and the profit is 850 pesos. Electricity is one of the most important things in the lives of people. Some cannot sleep without electric fans or aircon. We use electricity when watching televisions charging our cell phones and other gadgets, cooking, plugging our refrigerators and other appliances, and even the electric bikes that we have now. When we talk of electricity, it is a very delicate matter. It needs the assistance of the experts, and we should know the safety and health protocols or practices before we do anything about it. We should also know the different tools that we are going to use. 
at your age, you can do simple gadgets as part of the lesson in TLE6 Industrial Arts, which you can use in your house. You need to know these things because they will help you in the future. So let us now talk about the materials and tools in making simple electrical gadgets. The first tool is a combination pliers. It is used to twist, cut, hold, and pick electrical wires or tire wires. The next picture is, or the next tool we have here is the side cutting pliers. It is used to cut electrical wire or tire wires and use in skinning small wires. We have here the long nose pliers. It is used to hold, cut, twist, or pick up small objects in a limited space. Moving on to the next, we have here the tester. It is an instrument used to test if there is a flow of electricity in the connection. So ito yung ginagamit kung defective ba yung isang bagay or gumagana pa siya. And we have here the screwdriver. It is a tool used in tightening and loosing screws. It has two kinds, the flat and Phillips. Wire stripper or splicer. It is used to take off a portion at the end of the wire before it is connected to terminals of other electrical materials. We also have here the soldering iron or soldering gun. This is used to join two tiny metallic parts such as television and radio spare parts. Hammer is also used in electrical gadgets. It is used to fasten nail through the wood, bamboo, at the concrete wall. Dimension tools are used to create simple elect electrical gadgets like we have the first one, the extension cord. It's used at home to plug appliances that are far from the main power source like electric fan, charging cell phones, laptops, printers, and other appliances that require a low voltage of electricity. The second one is the doorbell. It's very essential, especially if your house is far from the gate. This is one way to know that there is someone at the gate or the door. And we have here number three, the plugs. These are devices that are being connected to the primary power supply. All gadgets or electrical equipment has a plug to connect to the power source. And the last is the lampshade. Lampshade can usually be found in the bedroom or living room. It covers the light bulb on a lamp to make the lights dim or less bright. In making simple electrical gadgets, accident may occur or happen while working. Safety must not be compromised and some rules need to be followed first. Here are the safety and health protocols or practices in making gadgets. First, keep electrical equipment or outlets away from water. Second, never use damaged insulation or broken plugs. Third, do not overload your outlets. Fourth, disconnect the power source before servicing or repairing electrical equipment. The fifth is replace or replace or repair damaged power cords. Six is always wear shoes when working. Seven, do not dare to repair anything if you do not have the knowledge or skill in doing it. Eight, do not store highly flammable liquids near electrical equipment. Next in line is do not insert pieces of metal like coins inside a fuse box. Last but not the least is report broken bulbs immediately to authority if you do not have the knowledge to repair them.
for your activity, correct me if I'm wrong. So direction, read and analyze the sentences below. There are words or phrases to be corrected. Just rewrite it on a blank sheet of paper in order to know what you have learned in the lesson. So number one, there is no need to ask for help and advice from people who have the knowledge and skills in making a simple electrical gadget. Number two, lampshade is used to plug appliances that are far from the main power source. Three, touch the metal pipes or pieces while you are doing electrical repairs. Four, shut off the power at the main switch or circuit breaker and do not unplug the equipment when working on electricity. Five, screwdrivers are tools used to grip, pull, or cut electric wires. So always remember the best practices in making electrical gadgets. Here is the safe protocols. Again, you must keep electrical equipments or outlets away from water in order to avoid being electric, electrocuted. Two, never use damaged insulation or broken plugs. Three, do not overload your outlets. Four, disconnect the power source before servicing or repairing electrical equipment. Five, replace or repair damaged power cords. Six, always wear shoes when working because it provides an insulation on the ground. Seven, do not dare to repair anything if you do not have the knowledge or skill in doing it to avoid accident. Eight, do not store highly flammable liquids near electrical equipment. Nine, do not insert pieces of metal like coins inside a fuse box because a coin is a metal that conducts electricity. Ten, report broken bulbs immediately to authority if you do not have the knowledge to repair them. So proceeding to checking your understanding activity, check it out. So below are the list of tools. Identify the tools in making simple electrical gadgets. Check the blank before each number. So we have here number one, axe. Two, crowbar. Do we need that in repairing electrical gadgets or making simple electrical gadgets? Three, long nose plier. Four, screwdriver. Five, side cutter or side cutting pliers. Six, spade. Seven, soldering iron. Eight, tester. Nine, trowel. Ten, wire stripper. Are you done? Let us now check your work. Here is the key to correction. Number one, ask. It is not required in making simple electrical gadgets. Same with the crowbar, spade, and trowel. So one, two, six, and nine, X. Three, four, five, seven, eight, and 10, check. For your post test, please take your post test. Tell E6IA quiz number seven on the given link. You may also scan the QR code if you want to access the post test or for you to access the post test. And the link for the post test is also in the description below. Just click it and answer the post test. Should you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer that. That's all for this video. I'll see you again in my next video. I hope you learned something from, from me. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.